The original vision behind the project was that we wanted to showcase Anthony's abilities on the court, beginning to end, from defensive all the way through the practice that goes into that, to the tip off, all the way to jump shots and a dunk. To pull off an idea like this, you know, we had to employ uh, a bunch of different technologies. We wanted to use the Phantom camera because we wanted to slow down the action enough so that people could really see the skill that it takes. Using that slow motion and being able to see everything, we wanted to take it one step further and employ a technique called motion control, where essentially a camera starts at one end of the court and moves to the other in an exact move so that we would set him at different points at the court and then you would layer them all together in one shot. We can show Anthony Davis's whole arsenal. For that, we had to enlist the help of a professional and we brought in Rashad Floyd. Rashad is like a um, director slash technical director slash hype man slash awesome guy. He basically came in and got with the director. Start defensive, ball handling, three point. When Nick first hit me up for said Rashad, I've got this extravagant idea. I want to capture every element of Anthony Davis' game on both ends of the court. I was excited. They've together developed the best shots that we can do for each point of the motion control camera. No matter where, I want you to send it. Anthony Davis, his work ethic was something that, that showcased in this feature as well. There's a reason why he's the number one draft pick. There's a reason why he spent one year in college and won a national championship. He played the night before the game. He had to practice the day of our shoot and he showed up there and completely bought into the execution of this feature. Our DP was Mark Ritzma, and he met up with our director and they uh, designed all of the lighting inside the venue. We had to figure out exactly where Anthony would be, what his exact action would be, so that we could not only program the camera to show him correctly, but also to program things like focus, exposure, and actual position of the camera. Going from two to one in reverse, the move. As this camera moves consistently up and down the court, we have to be able to hit our marks precisely and create the action that's as authentic to a true practice and the true game as possible. Once we had um, all of our motion control points set and we had like the best takes and the best selections from that uh, sequence, we were then you know, moving on to our story points, which were like the locker room shot, the weight room shot. When we put this together, you know, we wanted to pay homage to that with practice vignettes of what he does when he prepares for the court. Anthony was such a trooper, we were able to move through these last three segments, I think in about 45 minutes. If it was easy, there'd be a hundred features like this. And I think that's what everybody that was part of this team was excited about, was a challenge to, uh, to innovate a different vision, to, uh, to create these moments that energize our audience.